Hello student, welcome to the Power Electronics Lab. In this section, we are going to learn on single phase fully controlled converter using R and RL load. Circuit diagram of single phase fully controlled converter using R and RL load and model waveforms. Here, this has a input voltage. Now, when you are applied alpha here. For firing angle now this is the output voltage will start depend on your firing angle the diode the output voltage you can observe here now it is as a R load the current also follow the output voltage MATLAB simulation implementation on R load this is a MATLAB circuit in this input voltage 50 peak equal to 35.35 RMS and frequency is 50H R is equal to 12.5 ohms MATLAB simulation implementation on RL load this has a simulation circuit as a RL load circuit in this input voltage 50 peak equal to 35.35 RMS and frequency 50H. R is 12.5 ohms, L is 6 milli Henry's. MATLAB 19A simulation block and path. So using this path, now you can select all the blocks. Pulse generator parameters in this parameters pulse type time base time simulate use simulation time amplitude 1 period 0 0.01 is nothing but off circuit pulse width as percentage 5 phase delay 0 multiply your off cycle time by 180 degrees. Now here you are placing 0 that is nothing but your firing angle 0. This is a positive off cycle. Now second pulse generator pulse type time base time use simulation time amplitude 1 period 0 0.01 pulse width percentage of the period 5 phase delay this is 180 plus 0 multiply 0 0.01 divided by 180 this parameter you have to change in the pulse generator now we will do the simulation part double click MATLAB icon desktop double click simlink In simply blank model double click now you will get as a your model with untitled save this one for this go to file save as expert exp file save now your model is saved with exp file here you are designing your simulation circuit. For this, you need an block. For this, go to library browser. In that, Power Electronics Path is Simscape. Under this, Electrical. Under this, Specialized Power System. Under this, Fundamental Blocks. Now, Power GI select add to your model power electronics. Now you will select as a thyristor add to model. Go back 
मेजरमेंट्स वोल्टेज मेजरमेंट करंट मेजरमेंट एड टू मॉडल कोबे एलिमेंट्स सेलेक्ट सीरीज और एल सी ब्रांच एड टू मॉडल कोबे इलेक्ट्रिकल सोर्सेस इन दट ए सी वोल्टेज सोर्स सेलेक्ट एड टू मॉडल Now you need an scope and display in Simlink. Double click Sync. Select scope. Add to model. Select display. Add to model. Now you need an bus selector. Simlink under commonly used block. Select bus selector. Add to model and rms and mean is required blocks these available in the control and measurement in that measurement block select mean add to model select rms add to model next is pulse generator this will be available under simlink sources select pulse generator now we got an all the blocks now we will separate all the blocks you can select one more voltage measurements now one more current measurement copy copy mean block copy rms block copy display block select one more scope copy a scope select one more bus selector select and copy now you can rotate the thyristor by controlling control plus r Now you can copy so you fully control for this you required as a four thyristors so this one is thyristor one T one copy one more thyristor T three. T four, T two. Now double click the AC voltage source. Peak amplitude U as a thirty five point three five RMS. Frequency fifty. Apply and okay. Now you can copy one more pulse generator. Now you can connect thyristor one anode to thyristor four cathode, thyristor three anode to thyristor two cathode. 
now t1 t3 cathodes join t4 and t2 anodes join now double click series rlc branch select as a or and resistance values 12.5 ohms can rotate this one by pressing control plus r now make the connection from ac voltage source one terminal to current measurement terminal current measurement a2 to t1 t4 anode and cathode joining point source other terminal to anode and cathode t3 t2 anode and cathode joining point now second current measurement t1 t3 cathode joining point from native terminal to load one terminal load other terminal to t4 t2 anode join point now can this voltmeter connect as a across the source so it will be measure the input voltage this is measuring voltage across the load now in the pulse generator parameters were to change pulse type time base use simulation time amplitude 1 period 0.01 seconds pulse width 5 percentage phase delay 0 multiplied resisted 0.01 divided by 180 Now can change the second pulse generator parameters. Amplitude one period zero point zero one seconds. Here one eighty plus zero. Brace is close. multiply braces dot 0 0.01 divided by 180 degrees apply and ok now from this pulse generator we have to give t1 and t2 t1 gate terminal t2 gate terminal from second pulse generator to T4 and T3 now we want to see the thyristor currents and voltages from T1 E terminal to one of the bus selector input open this bus selector remove unknown signal select thyristor voltage thyristor current of t1 now second bus selected to t4 e terminal open this bus selector remove unknown signal select your signals thyristor voltage thyristor current now from this you are getting four signals so we want to
change the scope parameters so double click this scope go to configuration properties number of input port to 4 layout 4 make the connection 1 to T1 Thyrisher voltage second to T1 Thyrisher current three to T4 Thyrisher voltage from fourth to T4 Thyrisher current. Now here also we will change the scope parameters. I want to increase the input terminals. Double click the scope. Go to configuration properties. Number of input port to 4. Layout 4. Apply. Okay. Now connect input voltage. Input current, output voltage, output current. Mean current, RMS current, mean voltage, RMS voltage. mean to display, RMS to display, mean to display, RMS to display. Double click mean block, fundamental frequency 50, RMS, fundamental frequency 50, apply ok. Double click mean block, fundamental frequency 50, apply ok. Double click RMS block, fundamental frequency 50, apply, ok. Now can label these names, mean, current, RMS, current, mean voltage RMS voltage now select this voltage measurement format show block name on Select DC voltage source format show block name on pulse generator format show block name second pulse generator format show block name on current measurement format show block name on Voltage measurement format show block name on select scope format show block name on select scope format show block name on these are the displays format show block name on
format show block name on now we can open the pull generator so here we are giving zero is nothing but your pairing angle is zero here in this 180 plus zero firing angle so this is taught as a native of cycle this pull generator will give as a positive of cycles now save your model by pressing save button now your simulation time give as a 0.1 second Now run your simulation by pressing run button. When alpha is zero, when alpha is zero, this is a mean current, RMS current, mean voltage, RMS voltage. Now we'll see the input and output voltage and currents by double clicking the scope. Now this has the input, now you can see from 0 to during this 0 0.02 for complete one cycle in that half cycle is 0 0.01. Now we are giving taking as a half cycle 0 0.01 as a 180 degrees. Now we will give as a labels for this right click on the wave from configuration properties in the signal label give as a input voltage play and okay second one input current input current and OK. Output voltage output current. Apply and OK. Now we will identify easily which waveform is which one. So, first one is the input voltage, second is input current, output voltage, and output current. Now we will take as a screenshot and save in the folder when alpha is 0. Now we will see the T1, T4 thyristor currents and voltages by double clicking this scope. During half cycle, here thyristor on current is flowing. During NAT cycle, thyristor on current is flowing. Now, this has a across T1 positive of cycle and negative of cycle. Thyristor voltage, thyristor current of T1, thyristor voltage, thyristor current of T4. This one also take a screenshot and save in the folder when alpha is 0. Now we will change the alpha to 45 degrees. So in place of 0, place as a 45 that is Firing angle is 45 degrees. Apply and OK. In the second pulse generator, 180 is as instead of 0, but to give as a 45 degrees. Now your firing angle is 45 degrees. Save your file. 
again run your simulation by pressing run button now you can observe the input and output voltage in the scope so now this is input c can 0 to 0 0.02 for one complete cycle in that now this is a 45 degrees we are giving as a 45 degrees during this part the thyristor is start to conducting after 45 degrees exactly 45 degrees is start to conducting so in previously we have done as a diode rectifier there is no control of the output voltage in using thyristor the output voltage is controlled in our hand when alpha is 45 degrees take a screenshot of this window and save in the folder now we will do as a firing angle to 90 degrees instead of 45 give as a 90 in the second pulse generator 180 plus 90 or you can give as a equivalent value 180 plus 90 also equivalent value also you will get apply and ok save this model again run your simulation by pressing run button now you are observed the mean voltage and rms voltage for different firing angle the voltage is changing according to the mean current and rms current also changing now double click the scope so now your alpha is 90 degrees so this is 0 to 180 in that exactly 90 degrees the thyristor start to conducting this one also take a screenshot and save in the folder Now we will do one more firing angle that is 135 here 180 plus 135 apply and ok now when it is in 90 degrees now mean voltage is this much or means voltage is this much now we will see the when alpha is 35 or firing angle is 35 how much mean and rms will get save your model run your simulation by pressing run button you can see rms voltage is 6.87 mean voltage is 2.9 so what happen when we are changing the firing angle the output voltage is control the output voltage is varying now this is 135 degrees of firing angle that position the thyristor on remaining time is off so this one also take a screenshot save in the folder now this as we have done as a on R load only. Now we will change to R to RL load. Double click the series RLC branch. Branch type select as a RL and L value is 6 milli handies. Apply and OK. No need to change this circuit port. Only we are changing instead of R, RL is connected in series. Now again we will run the firing angle from 0 angle. Now instead of that to 0, apply, ok. Apply and ok. Now for RL, your firing angle is 0. Save your model. 
run your simulation by pressing run button now you can see the output and voltage and currents in the scope so here we are adding the inductance so some here it is coming now when alpha firing angle is zero this is the waveforms take a screenshot say in the folder now change it to firing angle 45 degrees apply and ok save your model run your simulation by pressing run button now we'll observe the voltages and currents in the scope now we can observe the output voltage here so here when is alpha is 45 degrees so the resistors start to conducting here this is a negative this negative off cycle is going because of the inductance again the, during this time the inductor is charging again discharging when alpha firing angle is 45 degrees take a screenshot and save in the folder by using snipping tool close and now firing angle is 90 degrees and ok now your firing angle is 90 degrees save your model run your simulation by pressing run button now can open the scope see now it is exactly 90 degrees so this is 0 to 180 so in that exactly 90 degrees the thyristor start to conducting this one also take a screenshot save in the folder now firing angle is 135 apply and ok second pulse generator 180 plus 135 apply and ok save your model run your simulation we will see the waveforms in the scope so here output voltage see here when exactly 135 it start to conducting thyristor so when we are changing the firing angle the output voltage will be varied this is when firing angle is 135 degrees take a screenshot save in the folder this is a simulation of single phase fully controlled converter using R and RL load. Hardware implementation on R load. For this, you require power module. In the power module, power module will give three phase supply, single phase supply, and DC supply. In that, we have to choose as a single phase supply. Second one is SCR diode power module in that we have to select as a thyristors t1 t3 t4 t2 now this quad as a firing circuit how we are using in the simulation we are using as a pulse generator like that here also generating four pulses now this cable wire is connected as a 18 degrees sorry 18 volts to this quad during these operations, now here we are getting as a 4 pulses 
टू आर पॉजिटिव थेरिसर्स टी वन एंड टी टी टू टी थ्री एंड टी फोर फॉर अदर टूज नाउ रेसिस्टिव लोड हेयर इट इज आर इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स नो वी हैन ए जीरो टू फिफ्टी सो यू वॉन्ट गेट एज ए ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव सो मेक इट फोर फिफ्टीज पैरली देन यू विल गेट एज ए ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स हाउ कैन सी द आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज यूजिंग डिजिटल स्टोरेज आसलेस कोड नाउ वेन वेन यू आर चेंजिंग दिस नॉब वेट इज जीरो पोजिशन नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द all firing angle is zero when we are changing the knob here firing angle will changes now you have to vary 0 45 90 135 degrees during for every firing angle you have to save observe the output voltage save and this screenshot you have to save in the folder hardware implementation on rl load so instead of r we are using r and l now the l value is 6 milli and is between now the probe is connected between r starting point and l ending point between the the output voltage across the r and l for this you need an a power module sci diode power module firing cord in the sci diode power module thyristors t1 t3 t4 t2 and you want to observe the output voltages digital storage oscilloscope is required now we'll do the hardware on single phase fully control converter with r load and rl load for this equipment required power module scr diode power module in that thyristors are required t1 t3 t4 t2 and resistance value is 12.5 ohms and inductance value is 6 milli henrys now we'll observe the output waveform in the scope for this required as a digital storage oscilloscope and required as a firing circuit this is as a single phase fully four pulses it will be generated so this is a knob of firing angle position now we'll make the circuit connection from the power module select as a ac voltage source from source to phase to phase of input of mcb of scr diode power module and source neutral to input of mcb neutral point now T1 anode to T4 cathode. One more thing is thyristor has a three terminal anode, cathode, and gate terminal. To turn on the gate thyristor, for this we required as a external pulses. With the help of this firing cord, we'll turn on our circuit. now we'll make the circuits thyristor t1 anode 2 t4 cathode t3 anode 2 t2 cathode from the mcb output of r phase to t1 anode t4 cathode joining point from the mcb out of neutral terminal to t2 cathode joining point t1 cathode 
टी थ्री कैथोड ज्वाइन टी फोर एनोड टी टू एनोड ज्वाइन Now we'll make the resistance value as a 12.5 ohms. Now between black and blue terminal as a 50 ohms. Now we'll select as a 5 50 ohms connected in parallel. We'll get as a 12.5 ohms. From zero to zero of other resistor. Zero to Third resistor, zero to fourth resistor, zero. Fourth resistor of fifty terminal to third resistor of fifty terminal, third fifty terminal to second resistor fifty terminal. Second resistor fifty terminal to fourth resistor fifty terminal. Now between these final output between these two as a twelve point five ohm. Now the probe terminal connected as a one of the resistor terminal as a positive terminal and other terminal as a negative terminal. From positive terminal of the probe terminal connected to T1, T3 cathode joining point. Probe negative terminal connected terminal to T4 anode, T2 anode joining point. Now from the firing cord connect four pulses to each one of the thyristor T1. T2, T3, and T4. Now we are made the circuit connection. Now we'll switch on your supplies. First we'll switch on the three-phase main supply and switch on meter switches. Switch on power module MCB. Switch on. Single phase AC voltage source. Switch on SCR diode power module MCB on, and switch on firing driver circuit on. Now slowly increase the voltage to thirty five point three five RMS voltage by pressing plus button. Now increase voltage to thirty five point three five as a RMS voltage. Now this current will as a input side current. Now we got an output voltage across the R load. So here the waveform unable to see. So now you will adjust the voltage division to twenty. So from this now now alpha. Or nothing but as a firing angle is zero position. Now you got an output like this. From this, you will measure as a RMS mean and frequency by pressing measurement button. Now it will be displayed RMS voltage, mean voltage, and frequency. Now this waveform have to capture in the PC for this. Open the open choice desktop and select instrument. Select USB. Okay. Get screen by pressing this arrow button. Now we got an output voltage when firing angle is zero. This waveform you have to save in the folder. Now. We'll adjust the firing angle to 45 degrees. That equivalent value is 2.5 millisecond. Now we can observe the one off cycle. 
वन हाफ सर्किल इट इज टेकिंग एज ए टाइम इज इन फिल फाइव मिली सेकेंड्स वेन आलफा इज जीरो नाउ यू कैन अब्जर्व द वन हाफ सर्किल टेकिंग एज ए नाउ टाइम इज इन फाइव मिली सेकेंड हाफ सर्किल इज टेकिंग एज ए टू डिविजन इज नथिंग बट फॉर हाफ सर्किल टेन मिली सेकेंड दट ईक्वल एंड वैल्यू एज ए जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेकेंड्स नाउ यू वेल अडजस्ट एज ए आलफा टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज दट ईक्वल एंड वैल्यू एज ए टू पॉइंट फाइव मिली सेकेंड्स नाउ आई एम अडजस्टिंग दि फैरिंग एंगल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज यू कैन अबर्व दस तैरस स्टार्ट टू कंडक्टिंग वेर एम चेजिंग द alpha or firing angle that position it start to conducting so this one time you have to measure for this press cursor button and select as a channel 1 and adjust the both the cursors using this knob now selected one as a highlighted as a cursor 1 and select cursor 2 now you can observe the delta t as a 1.6 milliseconds it's not as a equivalent to 45 degrees that equivalent value as a 45 degrees 2.5 milliseconds now slowly increase the firing angle to 2.5 milliseconds now the delta t you can observe 2.4 milliseconds we will consider as a 2.5 why because i am changing the position of the knob to it is going to 2.6 now this the cursor also should get as a 0 volts then the delta t is will be matches okay instead of 2.4 we'll take it as a 2.6 millisecond we'll consider as a 45 degrees at 45 degrees now we will measure the mean and rms voltages by pressing measurement button now we got an rms and mean value at all phase 45 degrees this waveform you have to capture in the pc open the open choice desktop select instrument select usb okay and get screen now between these delta t as a 2.5 millisecond is nothing but firing angle is 45 degrees and otherwise you can select press cursor button and get screen this wave form also now you can see delta t 2.6 will consider as a 45 degrees zero and the zero of cursors both then you exactly it is as a 45 degrees now we'll apply as a firing angle to 90 degrees now change the knob to as a 5 milliseconds now adjust the cursors little more increase now you can observe del delta t is 5 millisecond then alpha is 90 degrees when it is in alpha is 90 degrees now you can observe mean and rms voltage by pressing measurement button now you got an rms and mean and frequency also now this waveform also you have to capture in the pc and get screen by pressing get screen button now this waveform also 
save in the folder. Firing angle as a 90 degrees. Now we will do as a firing angle to 135. That equivalent time is 6.6 .6 milliseconds and press cursor button. Adjust the cursor. When firing angle is as a 135 degrees, the delta T should be 7.5 milliseconds. Adjust the cursor. So, unable to measure 135 degrees, take as a 120 degrees that is 6.6 .6 milliseconds. Now, this firing angle at 120 degrees. Delta T you can observe 6.6 .6 milliseconds at 120 degrees, measure the mean and RMS value by pressing measurement button. Now it will be displayed RMS and mean voltages. This waveform you have to capture in the PC, get screen. Now between the, between these two cursors, the delta T is 6.6 .6 as a 120 degrees. This waveform also save in the folder. Now we are done on the single phase fully controlled rectifier with R load. Now we will do as a RL circuit for this bring back to zero of your firing angle knob to zero make it circuit off and remove the resistive one of the load terminal from the resistive load to connect as a inductor one terminal Inductor other terminal to anode both the T4 and T2 anodes joining point. Between red and block, the inductance value is 6 milliamps. Now we will measure the voltage across R and L or starting point, L ending point. Now switch on. SCR diode power module MCB. Now adjust the voltage to 35.35. And this current will call as a input side current when now the firing angle is zero position. In RL circuit, when firing angle is zero, you got an a this output voltage. Now press measurement button and measure RMS and mean. Now you can observe the here also for off cycle. When alpha is zero, the time taken for of as a off cycle. Ten milliseconds. Okay. Now we'll do as a for firing angle as a forty-five degrees is ten milliseconds by four times. So then you will get as a two point five milliseconds. Now this output at 
फायरिंग एंगल इज झिरो नाव दिस वे फॉर्म यू हॅव टू कॅप्चर इन द पी सी अक्रॉस आर एन एल लोड प्रेस गेट स्क्रीन बटन द वे फॉर्म विल बी सेव्हड इन द पी सी दिस हॅज ए आउटपुट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस आर एन एल लोड दिस वे फॉर्म ऑल्सो सेव्ह इन द फोल्डर नाव विल अडजस्ट द फायरिंग एंगल टू थर्टी डिग्रीज दॅट इक्वल एंड टाइम इज टू पॉइंट फाईव्ह मिली सेकंड्स सेलेक्ट कर्जर्स नाव अडजस्ट द कर्जर टू Okay, now you can observe the delta T as a 2 point, actually 45 degrees 2.5. So you will get as a here 2.6 milliseconds. So that is equivalent to 45 degrees. Now alpha is 45 degrees. The equivalent time is 2.5 milliseconds. Now you can observe the delta T as a 2.6. Then measure the mean and RMS voltages by pressing. measurement button now this waveform also you have to capture in the pc so by pressing get screen button the waveform will be captured in the pc now this voltage at firing angle is 45 degrees now these are the rms and mean values save this waveform in the folder now firing angle adjusted to 90 degrees equals 5 milliseconds press cursor button now you can observe delta t is 5 milliseconds is nothing but your alpha position is 90 degrees at 90 degrees measure the mean and rms voltage by pressing measurement button now it will be displayed rms and mean voltages now this waveform you have to capture in the pc by pressing get screen button now we got an output at firing angle is 90 degrees this waveform you have to save in the folder now we will do firing angle to 120 degrees the equivalent time is 6.6 milliseconds press the cursor button adjust the cursors now delta t you can observe 6.8 that equivalent to 120 degrees at 120 degrees of firing angle measure the mean and rms voltage by pressing measurement button now rms and mean value displayed this waveform you have to capture in the pc by pressing get screen button now this waveform also save in the folder now we are done the single phase fully control converter with r load and rl load now bring back to your original position of your circuit bring back to this alpha position to zero make it of mcb to off position and reduce the voltage to zero and make it off ac voltage source to off switch off power module mcb switch off main three phase supply results of single phase fully controlled converter with r and rl load 
for our load now we already captured the simulation circuits at 45 at firing angle 45 degrees now here you have to attach the waveforms attach the waveform of thyristor voltage and thyristor current at firing angle 45 degrees now we are done for different firing angle but in that you have to attach the waveform at 45 firing angle 45 degrees only attach the waveform of output voltage at firing angle 45 degrees experimentally from the DSO here you have to attach the hardware results now RL load attach the circuit diagram of single case fully controlled rectifier or converter with RL load in MATLAB simlink we already that uh, saved this all the files in that you have to attach the your circuit here attach the waveform of input voltage input current output voltage output currents in simlink at firing angle 45 degrees here also in RL circuit also we have done different firing angle but here we have to attach only when firing angle 45 degrees only required attach the waveform of thyristor voltage thyristor current simlink at firing angle 45 degrees attach the waveform of output voltage at firing angle 45 degrees experimentally from the DS4 in the hardware port also we are doing for the all the firing angle but in that we are attaching the waveform at 45 degrees only observations of R load calculate performance parameter with R load in simlink so when all firing angle is 0 now you can enter the all, all the values average output voltage RMS output voltage, average output current, RMS output current. When alpha firing angle is 0, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees. Calculate performance parameters of R load experimentally. So here also, when alpha firing angle is 0, average output voltage, RMS output voltage. Like 45 degrees. 90 degrees, 135 degrees. Observations for RL load. Calculate performance parameters for RL load in simlink. Firing angle 0. Fill all the RMS voltage and average voltages. Average current and RMS current for different firing angles. 0, 45, 90 and 135 calculate performance parameters for rl load experimentally zero firing angle average output voltage rms output voltage average output current rms output current for different firing angle zero 45 90 135 thank you